evening. Uh, it is 7.33, and welcome to the Hingham Zoning Board of Appeals. Um, for purposes of the public of the open meeting law, this proceeding is being recorded. And the first item on our agenda is a continuation of the hearing for SEB Hingham LLC for a comprehensive permit under Chapter 40B for the construction of a 20-unit home ownership housing development, including four affordable housing units within 10 different buildings to be called the Village on Main on approximately 12.72 acres of land at 895 to 901 Main Street in Residence District B. And if I could ask just for the record, who was here for the applicant? For the record, Jeffrey Engler from Colorado. How are you both? I'm good, how are you? Good. Long time no see. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're passing a new zoning provision to ban snow from the town for a yeah. while. That's right. <clears throat> People are, are fed up with it. Um, I just want to begin by noting for the record that this is a continuation from the last meeting, which was continued. Uh, and I just want to make sure that the communication between the applicant and the board is clear. I appreciate that you. Um, agreed to continue it to tonight from a week ago. Um, I am the zoning board member uh, who had a scheduling issue, and my understanding was that uh, we were going to actually have the hearing last week if you were in a position to provide um, some substantive um, movement on, on a number of the issues, and I was informed that it was better for you really to just uh, continue it till this time. Uh, so. Uh, I'm only saying that because the, the letter that we received from you indicates more of a one way uh, that we were not available and that you wanted to proceed and it was really my understanding that we actually were prepared to proceed if there was substantive issues that could be covered and um, it looked like it couldn't so we continued it till tonight. So that's just a simple matter of procedure. Um, let me ask our esteemed um, Zoning Administrator, do we now have, um, or do we have, as we're sitting here, a list of of everything that's been submitted so far? You do, you do in front of you, have yep. an updated list of documents. Um, I don't, unfortunately. There are two items that I don't believe are listed on there, but are in the file. Thanks, Jeff. Um, appreciate that. Um, so two items made it into the file after this list was updated. One is an email exchange between the applicant um, and um, Randy Sylvester, the tree warden, about scheduling a, a tree hearing. So I understand that that process is about to be underway. Um, and the other, I would hope to double check, I think is another email. Um, so just a couple okay. of minor items. Okay. Not on the list. But otherwise, I, I believe it's up to date. The applicant and the board just received it tonight. So if anything's missing, just let us know and we will um, update it again. <laughs> Terrific. Um, well, that I will turn it over to the applicant to, uh, to lead us on. Chairman, I appreciate it. Uh, Apologies for any uh, insinuation that it was on you or, or whatnot. It was not exactly how it communicated to me. Frankly, it doesn't matter to us. We're okay. happy to, and, and you know, likewise, we want to uh, make this a fruitful process. Uh, tonight, as, as I've attempted to communicate, we'll just reiterate, we see as uh, more administrative, we don't have anything substantive to share and you might say well what's going on as we all know we were pretty close to the end of the public hearing process we were talking about waivers and whatnot and it became clear to us in our discussions not so much with this board but listening to neighborhood concerns listening to board of health right. listening to conservation that there were some serious issues that we needed to take a, another look at 
and we continue to take another look at it, and we're evaluating some various changes in our program, uh, site planning and otherwise, to uh, hopefully address as many of those issues as possible. Um, will every issue be addressed? No, we don't want to indicate that, but we are spending a lot of time and effort with our team to see if there are some ways that we can uh, address many of the primary concerns that have been raised by uh, specifically conservation and the Board of Health because we know that ultimately we'll need to go um, before them uh, post permitting. So, I mean, over the course of the hearing, rightly or wrongly, we've been criticized for submitting plans that some have alleged, quote unquote, don't work. We don't want to submit something until we can confirm internally that this is going to work from all the various sure. criteria that it needs to. So with that said, we're just at this point not prepared to present our, because we don't ultimately exactly know what it is going to be, but we're close. So with that said, we're hoping, well, we'll finish the waiver list. We're hoping some of the waivers are going to be obsolete. We're not going to need those, some of those waivers that we've requested because of potentially some changes. So we're not going to be starting from scratch by any means. We don't want to give you that indication. But Mr. Chessie, presumably, because we're going to have some different uh, civil engineering considerations and whatnot, he's going to have to do another review. We provided additional funds in the escrow account per the town's request to, to uh, finance that review when it becomes necessary and we'll continue to do as much. So really our objective tonight was simply we haven't met for a while. We wanted to communicate this uh, and because I forget, I think our final, before any of the extensions were granted, I think our final hearing was scheduled for sometime in early March. We sure. simply want to get future hearings on the calendar so that you and we have an idea of how we're going to finish up the process. So that's basically all we're okay. hoping to achieve tonight. <clears throat> um, I, I, th I think that's fine. Um, you know, I, I do, I was a little frustrated personally last week when um, I had to leave Boston early to come here because there was a continuation and you don't have to show up and we're volunteers. And so going forward, I want to make sure that when we have a meeting, we have a meeting. Because I think it's unfair to ask board members to bust their butt from to get from Boston down here for a hearing and we have to show up to continue and you don't. So I, I hear what you're saying, I'm okay with that. But if you need a certain amount of time to get your next submission ready, take the time you need, but the continuances are I think a much bigger source of frustration, maybe it's just for me personally than they are for you, but we're the ones who have to get all the way back here, show up just to have a 45 second continuance, and some of us have a lot of work to do at night on other things, and we're, we're, wasting, we're wasting evenings. Right. So I, I just wanted to, us to work together to try to be as respectful of each other's time and schedules as possible and keep this thing on schedule in a, in a comfortable manner. And, um, so take the time you need and let's get the extensions for this board that are required so we can do the, do the work we need to do. But um, these kind of extend, extend, extend every week. No, we apologize for that and that's why we're trying to suggest we take a month and our drawings are ready in two and a half weeks and John Chesse can have 10 days or whatever he needs we want his review and our review of his stuff so we come back to you with something that we're all on the same page about. I think that Maybe sounds great. Five weeks, yeah. huh? Yeah. Bob, I think that sounds great. Let's, my, my only point is don't, you know, let's, when you're ready and you feel you'll be as productive as possible and however you want to sequence the reviews and that, that's fine. Um, I was just a little cranky last, last Wednesday night. I, 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 yeah. I apologize. I'm the one that had the communication. Okay. I was, I was. Th that was not my understanding of what was happening. So, I, I that's okay. That's apologies. Okay. I, I, let's just try to work. Let's just try to work so it's efficient right. as possible. Understanding that you guys have to make a long trip to get here, and we're volunteers, right. and let's just. Yeah. Okay. 
So with that said, what schedule so, makes sense? Well, let me just ask, yeah. and responding to Todd, do we need a date, or would you rather wait for us to tell you in the two and a half weeks? Now we have the drawings, now we're ready to give them to your reviewer. How much time does he need? As Jeff said earlier, we don't need new traffic. We're not adding units. Uh, the driveway is the same, but there will be some civil issues. We can either wait for that understanding of how long John needs, or we can pick a date five weeks from now and say we're ready to, to come back at that point in time. We'll, we have our team on the deadline, and if he says it'll only take me two weeks or a week and a half to look at this stuff because it's not brand new, then we can pick a date. If you're saying don't pick a date and then miss it by a week, we don't want that. Let's wait till March 1st and pick a date. We're open to what you think is a better approach. Well, what I would suggest is we pick a date for the next status, not for substantive meeting. So it would be another date, a date when we have other meetings already scheduled, so we're not coming in special. Uh, I'm good with that. Yeah. And then with that. at that point, That's you'll be able idea. to say, we're on track, or yeah. guess what? It's going to be another two and a half weeks. That's, that's a, that, that, would yeah. be, that would work very well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. then we're not struggling. Right. Uh, because of the state statute, we need to make sure that we have the appropriate continuances for the, you know, our deadline for reaching a decision, things like that. And that is a lot of what's driving our schedule. So let's look at our ongoing meeting schedule <coughs> and uh, allocate just a, a 10 minute update for, yeah. for the next meeting. Mm -hmm. So the auctions are next Monday, which is too soon. Right, no, no, we're not, we're not for sure. March 19th. Which is four weeks from That's a little long to yeah. provide an update. And we well, what's the turnaround time if we came on March 19th? Let, let me ask you a different question. What if by March 12th, on our end, we had everything ready to go? Could we send it to Emily to provide to Mr. Chessia, or does he need to be authorized? You know what I'm saying? A so typical turnaround time for peer review would be 10 business days. So we, two ideally weeks, we have two, two weeks. weeks. Yeah. So, so then the board and the public will be able to view his comments before the hearing. I'm out of the country the last week of March. So so the, ninth, the 19th is uh, right. after that board meeting, I'm pretty much I think I'm pretty much done for the, for the month, for the month, month just, just so you know. Yeah. After that? Well, yeah. no, after, after that, I'm fine. It's right. just I'm in London for for 10 days, and so... Um, I'm out of the country, too. Maybe we're going to see each other. Do you want to... It's a big well, city. if it's the 19th, you know, we'll, so, we'll take the 19th. So let, let's, let's take the 19th okay. as, the really, as, as a status meeting. We're not expecting substantive. To the extent that you can get material to Emily ahead of time, uh, terrific, because then she can begin the process of getting circulated and we can schedule the next okay. meeting. That's great. Um, we should have the materials. The question is, will we have enough time for John to review? If he doesn't have enough time to review, we'll still come in and present them, yeah. and then there'll have to be another hearing to get his review in. But right. if, right. We're, if it's we're good and lucky, we'll get him into it. Yeah. And it's not only his review, but it's Conservation Board of Health and right. getting right. through that. Right. Um, one of the um, observations that I that I heard before is that you you're, you're prepared in, in many ways to go forward with the list of waiver requests but in fact some may not be necessary given what's going on um, we we are taking a waiver request as a representation by the applicant that it is necessary and that is the statutory justification for making a waiver request so we are going to need from you to be in a position that you really need the waiver request, not that it's just precautionary, um, because we consider those carefully, and it's not appropriate for us to be deciding to waive a regulation when you really don't need a waive. So um, I'm really going to insist that we have the waivers that you need and not more. Uh, and, and it may be that you need more time to make sure you've got those ducks in a row. That's well, what, yeah, right. That'll it's, be part right. parcel to our review. Right. And frankly, okay. we're, we're attempting, yeah. the list that we have now, we're attempting to truncate exactly. that, not expand upon that. Right. So. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, that's what's driving a lot of the design sure. reviews. So we will definitely yeah. have okay. the proper list okay. before you. That's okay. only what we need. And the list that's included, we will try to provide, you know, an elaboration of why those waivers are required. Okay. okay. Good. 
So the 19th, what time do you want to pick? Well, you have um, potentially two joint meetings with the planning board that evening. Yeah. So I don't, and we were targeting, so it depends on how long the presentation would be, I guess. If it's a simple status update, maybe you can do 7 o'clock and bump those back a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah, um, it's, it, yeah, that's what it's going to be. Okay, so 7 and well, 7 to seven fifteen. Can you guys get it yeah. get here in time? Yeah. Okay, so let's assume 7, seven o'clock? Yeah. Okay, on so the 19th? On the 19th. Yeah. And that is March 19th. Okay. Is there, is there anything else that we need to hear from you that you're prepared to help us look at? I think we should give abutters or members of the audience who have comments, questions, or concerns the opportunity to raise them now. Anyone? Good time, Jim. Okay, so then we are continued to the 19th of March at 7 p.m. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Do we have anything else on our agenda? No, just um, quickly the upcoming schedule. Yeah. So yeah. this is tentative. We've chat about it.